Welcome to Sports Salsa. It's a Friday. It's the blast here at uh, Kenny's 104.1 FM. And Sports Salsa is here. Yeah, your beat. The mix of music, the mix of sports coming from the home of music and from, of course, uh, the uh, home of uh, the masters when it comes to sports. We won't really get straight into it and uh, music will talk more and we'll be doing the little bits that you know. Fear of anything that can really upset uh, the balance, but you know we have a way how to handle it. The debate will rage for a while, no doubt, and Super Eagles coach Genaro has said that by next week he will come out with his list uh, of uh, the team that will confront the Lyon Stars in the Nations Cup qualifier built for Asaba Delta State. Starting uh, the first leg will be March 27, and the return leg uh, three days later in Freetown, Sierra Leone. Will Odioni Gallo be part of that team? He had called it a day after the Nations Cup in Egypt, and many are beginning to ask the question. Now that he's playing for Manchester United, uh, will Odion Igalo, the topmost striker in the last Nations Cup, be part of uh, Gennar Ross' uh, team? Has he agreed to really call back on his uh, uh, international quit? Of course, uh, Odion, you know, scored his first goal for Manu yesterday in their 5 uh, uh, 0 win over. Uh, the team that uh, proved stubborn, but not so with the other uh, side of London. You know what we are talking about. Then Sports Salsa, we focus here on our own, and uh, there is the beat also coming from Algeria. Yesterday we needed confirmation. The president of the Algerian Olympic and Sports Committee, Mustafa Beraf, who interestingly has an office in Abuja as the president of ANOCA, the National Association of uh, African Olympic Committee. He confirmed uh, uh, yesterday his irreversible and irrevocable decision to leave the Olympic body less than 24 hours after the rejection of the verbal resignation by the executive office. Uh, Beraf had called it a day uh, as uh, president of the Algerian Olympic Committee, but that was uh, rejected. There has been an attack on my honor and that of my family, my resignation is irreversible and irrevocable. This is my last day as president of the Comité Olympique Algérien. Mustafa Beraf told uh, uh, the agency APS. Beraf announced Tuesday at a meeting of the executive office of the COA his decision to leave his post. Uh, he said he was tired in the face of repeated attacks against him and his family. But the members of the executive committee in an unsigned communique uh, rejected unanimously this decision and asked the president to continue his mission so as not to disrupt the smooth running of the proceedings uh, of the National Olympic Games and the preparation of athletes for the 2020 Olympic Games. My decision was notified to the executive committee uh, and it's official, not informal. It was recorded in the minutes this resignation will be presented to members of the General Assembly whose meeting will be stopped by the Interim President Hamad. According to Beraf, first Vice President uh, Menja, head of the Education Commission at the International Judo Federation, is on a mission and cannot assume the chairmanship of uh, the COA. It is for this reason that uh, Hamad will take over the Interim. Uh, Menja is aware and there is no problem. So we have... Uh, a man who is resigning because uh, he has been he has come under series of attacks uh, on uh, corruption, uh, 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 poor transparency, and all of that. But he has denied it, and uh, he says uh, he's calling it a day, knowing exactly when to quit. Sports salsa. We are on the Olympic uh, uh, trust, and uh, the one who wants to sell tickets for the games. Uh, to Nigerians, Nigerians who are itching to get tickets uh, to the Tokyo Olympic uh, can now uh, do that by assessing first the Nigerian Olympic Committee who have entered a partnership uh, with uh, the agency that has been selling tickets for quite a while. The name of the agency is uh, uh, Kingdom Sports Group and the leader of the Kingdom Sports Group, Daniel uh, Benistin, was has been in Nigeria. And he says the enthusiasm, energy, excitement, 
of Nigerian supporters at international competition motivated his company to get in touch with the NOC on the Tokyo 2020 ticketing uh, plans. Benison, who was introduced by Francis Obi, the second vice president, Nigeria Olympic Committee, on behalf of the president, engineer Abu Gumel, said the passion of Nigerian supporters will uh, uh, spur the nation's athletes to the Tokyo Olympic Games to record excellent performance. The ticketer said his firm's job is to enlighten Nigerians that his company is the sole exclusive agency working closely with the NOC to protect the consumer in the market, stressing that the concern of his agency was to educate people to buy genuine Olympic tickets. He pointed out that his agency will also deal with the Nigerian domestic traveling agencies, which have to go through stringent process in order to ensure that the consumers buy the right tickets to the games in Tokyo. So now you know, if you want to get a ticket for the Tokyo Olympics, you have to go through the right source. Setus Austin are pleading with the state governor, Yeson Wike, to settle their standing entitlements to enable them concentrate and challenge for the title. The players claim their old backlog of match bonuses for over two seasons and contract fees since last season. The Stanley Guma tutor side are currently second on the MPL's standing with 36 points from 21 matches, just one point behind leaders Plato United. And in an interview, uh, Austin described the situation as a big issue while pleading with the governor to come to their rescue. Of course, you know, the governor is the power of sports in Africa and uh, he doesn't really joke with sporting matters. Uh, center back Kule Odulami and former Super Eagles player added that what the players know about is only money. There is nothing you tell the players. If you say players do this, they will tell you, hey, you have not done this. If you do this, you can ask for more. Owing players, their wages is not new in River State. Of course, uh, you want to go to the background of all of that. Still talking uh, football this morning. Aimba getting set for the big encounter. Can they get to the semi-finals of the Confederations Cup? That journey starts today. Uh, starts this weekend when they confront Oruya of Guinea. Oruya, a famed name in African football in the golden times of Guinean football where you had Hafia and then Horoya. These two clubs were a thorn in the flesh of so many club sides in the continent and uh, they really dominated. Uh, Horoya is back, fully padded, and um, we have uh, some colleagues from uh, Guinea who arrived yesterday. They will be getting to Aba. We will follow all of that game. It's the first leg of the Confederations Cup quarterfinals. Uh, Aimba needs to consolidate with a good win and then go to Conakry. Uh, for uh, the crystallization. Not so easy. Uh, they need to hold their own. Aimba suffered defeat uh, uh, the, within the week. Uh, uh, they lost to uh, Nazarawa at, uh, away. Uh, but they've been very, very uh, uh, for, forthcoming in their uh, victories in outstanding matches. And so from the bottom, they've even picked uh, a place at the top uh, six of uh, the Nigerian Professional Football League. So we follow that game. It's a confederation cup. They are the only team surviving, the only Nigerian club side in the continent. And that says so much about uh, their heritage. First uh, Nigerian team to win uh, the Champions League, and they did that back to back. And talking about uh, the continent, this time table tennis, the eight African players that will represent uh, uh, Africa in the table tennis singles event at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games in Japan will emerge today, February 28th, at the Olympic Qualifying Tournament in Tunis, Tunisia. The contest will draw, will draw up uh, four men and four women in the singles, while the pair that will represent Africa in the mixed doubles will emerge tomorrow. Already from the 16 players who started the campaign in the women's singles, eight have been shown the exit door, while the remaining eight uh, will compete for the slot, four slots available. I know you ask, are Nigerians in, the, in these eight uh, players remaining? Of course, uh, the eight players have been drawn into two groups of four players each, with the top two picking the tickets to Tokyo 2020. Nigeria duo of uh, Funke Oshunaiki and Ofion Edem have been drawn into separate groups. Edem will square up against Tunisia's uh, Garo Fadwa and Abir Haj Salah, as well as uh, Ethiopia's uh, Malta Guti, and I think uh, 
of young Edem can pick a ticket from this. The Oshunaiki will slug it out against Cameroon, uh, Sarah Harifu, Algeria's uh, Linda Logriab, uh, Mauritius uh, Nandes Wari Jalim. That is uh, a mouthful. In the men's singles, Aruna Quadri and Olajide Omotayo have uh, inched closer to qualification after winning all their group matches in the first stage. Senegal's Ibrahima Dio and Congo's Brazzaville Sahidi Dou also maintain their unbeaten run in the first stage. Tomorrow, it will be the turn of the mixed double qualifying tournament uh, as Shegun Torola and Funke Oshunaiki battle Egypt's Omar Asa and Dina Meshrev. I tell you, this is a tough one. Very, very tough. Uh, when it when it happened at the All Africa Games, the Egyptians were really a handful. Uh, we want to see what will come out of it. Other players for the uh, mixed doubles come from Algeria, Tunisia, Congo, DRC, Seychelles, Kenya, and Djibouti. Sports Salsa, it's the journey to uh, Benin, the journey to the 20th edition of the Nigerian Sports Festival. And uh, it's just uh, 20 days uh, to go. And what do we expect? We want to really start giving you the best of uh, stories uh, from the host city Benin and uh, across the nation preparations of team for Nigeria's uh, mini, uh, Nigeria's own Olympics. That's what it is. And so we set the tone with our countdown on uh, Sports Salsa hitting you live from uh, Kenny's 104.1 FM. Finishing touches remaining for some of the facilities we we, we, we saw to really get uh, the desired uh, shape. And uh, we talked about the media center at the uh, Obumudia Stadium, which is looking really, really impressive and ready. Of course, uh, the cleanup will start uh, this week and the final touches, according to the uh, state governor, Godwin Obaseki, will be done so that they have at least... Uh, one week uh, to really test run uh, some of the facilities. We also talked about the grass not looking too green. Uh, there is need for a touch up or get uh, watering to be total effective. And then uh, uh, looking at uh, the squash uh, court, the need for the stands to be back uh, to really be fully uh, installed. And then uh, the tennis courts. They yeah, are really getting the stands also in shape. Baseki, when he was uh, opening the festival house, uh, a very special building uh, that will be uh, managing, uh, become the, the center or the control center of uh, the sports festival. The uh, uh, hostels are, we are ready. The uh, roads are all uh, adorned with banners uh, showing that uh, the festival air is fully in Benin. And uh, these banners uh, carry with them some of the sponsors and supporters of the festival. We have uh, some uh, notable brands who have uh, uh, really identified with the games. There are banks, there is a brewery, and of course, uh, you also have a communication uh, uh, giant. So these three are also making their mark. From the administration to the athletes, and uh, one of them is Jesha Oremu who participated at the just-concluded all-commerce race in Akure as a means of shaping his skills and be able to assess his training ahead of the sports festival. Starting his 2020 season with a 10.3, is a major boost for Uremu, who ended the 2019 with 10.4 seconds. He believes the days of uh, winning domestic competitions with a 10.4 are over, going by the caliber of male sprinters Nigeria has at the moment. He aspires to finish on the podium in next month's National Sports Festival. The haste, I'm ready to get there. And let's see how uh, the Blue Ribbon event of the 100 meters will pan out. Who really will be Nigeria's sprint king and sprint queen? We will get to uh, uh, watch all of that starting March 20. Your countdown continues. And you know, here in Sports Salsa, we do it uh, differently. And talking about uh, athletics in the uh, festival, the tracks have been, uh, the, 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 the total track has been laid. What is left out now is to mark uh, the uh, different tracks uh, for the uh, athletes who will be running. And that's uh, one of the finishing touches that needs to be done. And so we have uh, 
a brand new tot and track, red in color, ready uh, for uh, the sports festival. That's how far we can go on uh, our Edo 2020. Also get to meet uh, with uh, the king of uh, Casa, the uh, high life king, the one who dominated uh, the music scene for quite a while and the music that has been uh, the music of the century, Jeremy. You can be sure Sir Victor Wiper will welcome so many who would love to come and see exactly his good museum in uh, uh, Benin City. That's uh, our package, the size of it. Uh, uh, Monday, we'll give you more and you can be sure we have plenty. We'll be looking ahead also to the police games which start uh, this weekend at Oka. The Anambra State Government has uh, splashed everything uh, to give that uh, games a befitting uh, status. And uh, for the police, they say it's a dress uh, rehearsal for the festival, especially some of the talents that will emerge from the games. Two centers, Rogeni Stadium and of course uh, the... Uh, Oka Square will be used primarily for the games, but the police college also will also serve, especially when it comes to the uh, uh, special uh, sport of shooting. That really will interest me in these times. So, uh, the home of uh, sportainment, uh, Kenis 104.1 FM. I am Mitchell Obin. Producing has been Bello Motunde. And wherever you are, spare a thought, be careful, be vigilant. Don't uh, really indulge in what we may, may bring you trouble, as they say.